so then it comes to the question so how do we understand these hindus who are coming who are coming from such a long time so many millennia so who are these hindus what did they do because there are two things if you are speaking about somebody as a group and they are being identified then they have done something very different there's something different about them so what is that different about them what did they do differently and how did they do that and why did they do that so these are some so, fundamental questions and even if you know all of these the question then will become is it relevant today at all are the hindu ideas relevant today is being a hindu relevant today so that is the fundamental moot question so we can study about the hindu civilization we can study about various other civilizations but there has to be some relevance to that study it should be applicable today and that is what we would like to really see and it's been a journey that we have done like uh, ankur was say why did we also want to look at it because this hindu civilization as we all know it's coming from so long and it is also something that is a uh, rather one of the only continuing civilizations of the world today <laughs> so it has seen success and it is still continuing and if you look at it the, the land of india from where the hindus uh, where the civilization has been rooted if you see this land india and the name india has become the root for so many other different lands like if you see west indies east indies indonesia the word indigo for the blue dye all of these are rooted in the word india as well even in the americas the native americans were called red indians so look at that so the idea of india has been all over the world actually when christopher columbus went westwards looking for not for america or the west indies up, up to which he went the caribbean islands up to which he went he actually thought he reached india he because that's when they knew the world was round and he started he said instead of going east let me go west i'll come to india that's where he hit upon the caribbean islands and actually christopher columbus thought he reached india that's what <laughs> So well, the search for India has been there for a long time, and that means we must have done something good. Many of you who are familiar with the film Sound of Music will remember there is a song which says, "I must have done something good." So we also, the Hindus, would should have done something good for so many people to want to come to India, to want to come in search of the Hindu civilization, and each have come for various reasons. And she said about sustainable civilization. Look at all other civilizations. today you go to greek civilization or a roman civilization or egyptian civilization all of them you can see them only in museums they are no more the people whereas when well, indian museums are, are not that good because you see the civilization among the people so this is only continuing civilization of the world living civilization living civilization and sustainably living civilization not across decades not across centuries but across millennia and that how many millennia Seven or eight million years. So that speaks about the land, the vibrancy, and the practices of the Hindus that have kept them the most sustainable civilization of the whole wide round world.